In full swing and the snow is still falling in our area and many people are still trying to dig themselves out from the weekend. They look through my bag. New security measures are going into effect for people flying into the U.S. all in response to a failed terror attempt. Light snow continues this afternoon. How much more will pile on to what we got over the weekend? We'll tell you all about that coming up in your News 8 weather forecast. Live from WROC, this is News 8 at Noon. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us at this noon hour. For some, it is a winter weather wonderland. Others hate to break out the snow shovels. Our area saw a blast of winter over the weekend, and snow is still falling in some places. You're looking at the Park Avenue area this morning. While road conditions are improving, people are still trying to shovel off their driveways and sidewalks. But with snow still falling in the area, what can we expect for the drive home this afternoon? Meteorologist. Brian Newdorf is tracking some snow showers for us and has the answer. Hi, Brian. Uh, hi, Katrina. And in fact, it is going to continue and you may have to deal with some of the snow on your way home. It's amazing what has happened in just a matter of a month. Our first snow of the season came just about a month ago and everybody was like, oh, it's so pretty. I love the snow. That is not the comments I'm getting anymore. You can see over the weekend, 15 to some places, even 30 inches. I've kind of updated this based on what I'm assuming has fallen, fallen since uh, just this morning, eight to 14, four to eight, with just a coating to two inches in some places to our south. And the lake effect snow continues. Wayne County now back under a lake effect snow advisory. That goes until 10 o'clock on Tuesday. Some places there could get into upwards of another six to 10 inches just by tomorrow morning. Now here's what we have on the satellite and right over the last six hours. Don't be fooled just because you don't see snow in parts of Monroe County and Wayne County doesn't mean it's not falling. In fact, just the beam goes over it, but we're still seeing steady snow in those places that were hit hard. So light snow one to two inches from most, but uh, right along that 104 corridor three to six inches and again possible. 21 degrees. In fact, it may even be a little cooler than that. We're at 18 looks like here on Humboldt Tree. We'll have more of your forecast coming up in just a bit. We'll let you know how much more can fall overnight and into tomorrow morning in just a bit. Katrina. All right, thanks, Brian. Well, we ask for your winter weather pictures and you've been sending them into us. This is a picture from Robert Keem in Red Creek in Wayne County. It's a look at the snow in his backyard and as you can see, it's piled up and covering just about everything. We received a number of pictures from Greg Mendelson of Greece as well. These were taken near Long Pond Road and the parkway. The snow was covering his back deck. Let's take a shot at from inside the house, looking out onto the deck to give you an idea of just how much snow the area received. Just a reminder, we want your winter weather pictures. All you have to do is send them to us at newsroom at rochesterhomepage.net. Just give us your name and tell us where the picture was taken. You may end up seeing it used in one of our newscasts. And a reminder, you can find all of the latest weather updates on our website, rochesterhomepage.net. Just click on the weather tab on the front page for the latest on any storms. We want to bring you now some breaking news out of Las Vegas, where at least two federal marshals have been